break hip hop down, there's, there's essentially four elements, and this is to the culture, right? To the culture itself. Um, the first and foremost element where it all came from, where it all started, is the DJ, DJing, okay? Is the heart, it's the, the spine, it's the backbone, it's the foundation, whatever you want to say, for everything else, all right? Um, it's an, an extension of DJing is beat making, sample based production, which we'll talk about, but basically sample based music takes the logic of the DJ, which is taking bits and pieces from songs, chopping them up in some way and giving them back to people in a different form with a different meaning. You know, you put your own salt and pepper and spices in there and shake it up and give it give it to the people um, so beat making is an extension of of dj and hip-hop dj mentality and culture uh, breaking b-boying b-girling um, this is very much like the physical manifestation and expression of hip-hop hip-hop culture um, you know break dancing as a term um, that's a word that was made up by the media um, B-boy and B-girl, and you know, uh, took off way ahead of uh, rap, way ahead of DJing and graffiti, and became super mainstream in the early '80s. And the media didn't know how to like talk about it, so they created a word called break dancing. So, if you talk to most B-boys and B-girls, you know they call it breaking. Um, they call it b b-boy and b-girl and you know break dancing is the media created term um you also have writing or bombing aka again kind of what media and pr and police and blah 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 call graffiti right bombing writing bomb the system um, getting your name up you know getting up all that stuff um you know, it's really about communication. Um, you know, if you think about it, you, you know, and being famous, you know, get your name on a car, a subway car that goes through all the boroughs. Um, you know, in New York, you would become all city, meaning like your name is seen in every borough in the city if you get on the right line. Okay. Um, but, you know, you think of trains, subway trains as like moving screens, moving TV screens, but it has your art on it. Um, you know, uh, <clears throat> as I said, it pre-existed hip hop in 1967. Cornbread bombed, uh, you know, started bombing Philly, uh, specifically the Philly Zoo, tagging up elephants and everything. Um, okay, then we have emceeing, where you you know the vocal form, the vocal form of expression in hip hop culture and music, um, which came again after pretty much everything else. Um, um, although that's what we most commonly associate it. And then there's all these other uh, elements, bits and pieces like beatboxing. You know, some people say the fashion, the business element of hip hop, the knowledge, the, the language, vernacular, all that stuff is um, and other elements. But you know, really talk to most people, you know, um, that know a thing or two, you know, and they'll tell you there's four, there's four elements uh, of hip hop. DJing, breaking, writing, bombing, and emceeing.